welcome to the Windows Server installation video. In this video I will be installing on Windows 7, but the same instructions apply to any release of Windows or Windows Server. So our agenda is installing the packages and then configuring the server. So let's start with the packages. The easiest way to get the installation packages is from netxms.org. In the Get It section you have the downloads. So we'll scroll down to the server binaries and we'll get the 64-bit version of the server. And we can get the web interface binary for the 64-bit version as well. As you can see I've downloaded the packages, so let's run the installers. It's just a standard Windows installer, so next, next. Uh, one thing I recommend is not changing the default installation path. It just makes it easier later on if you need to run tools, etc. You can select the installation components here. I will just leave it at full installation. Uh, one thing to note here is that you want to have the Java runtime environment checked here. So NetXMS uses its, it uses its own uh, Java uh, runtime in its own path where it expects it. So just do next, next, next install and wait for the installer to finish. If you selected the Microsoft SQL uh, driver in the component selection you will also need to install the SQL native client so just next, next, next. This will complete the NetXMS server installation and the next thing which is on our agenda is configuration wizard which will actually configure the NetXMS agent, the server and initializes the database. The configuration wizard will automatically launch during the server installation so let's go next. We will need to select the SQL driver. There is also an embedded SQLite database but as of version 1.2.17 uh, there is a couple of issues with the embedded SQLite driver. Uh, this might of course change in the future when they are fixed. So for the moment I recommend not using the SQLite. So in my case I will be going with my SQL. So I will fill out the needed information for NetXMS to connect to my database. Server IP. And I will be using an existing database since I've already created the database. Uh, make sure you leave the initialized database uh, checkbox checked since this will actually fill out the database with the required NetXMS tables and then provide database name, username and password. The configuration wizard will allow us to change some settings but we will not change these here in the configuration wizard. Uh, there will be another video later on explaining what, what all of these options actually mean and how to configure them inside of the server. So for now let's just do next and also next. However, I recommend logging all of the NetXMS server output to file instead of the system event log because it's just much easier to read. So I'll just go into my installation folder, so C drive NetXMS folder and I'll do NetXMS D log. Next, next, next. This will set up the configuration files, initialize the database, install the NetXMS services and everything else for us. Next, finish. You can now install the web UI run the installer, next, next. You can leave the path uh, the same. Again I recommend leaving the Java runtime environment checked so the NetXMS server has its own version etc. Next, next, install. And that's all you need to do to install NetXMS on Windows. We can now check if the services are installed and running so let's do run uh, services.msc. This is the Windows service console where we can see which services are installed and running etc. And we can see that NetXMS agent core and web UI services are started and running. Before we go any further there is one thing I would recommend to change that is securing the NetXMS agent with a password. So if you go into the NetXMS installation folder then into the etc folder you will see a NX agent configuration file. 
if you open this file there is a line here saying require authentication no so let's change that to yes and let's add another line which says shared secret and let's give it a simple secret save this file uh, you don't have to worry about other things in this file and what they do and how to configure them this will be covered uh, in uh, advanced videos later on we also need to restart the NetXMS agent, so right click on the agent service and do restart for the changes to take effect. So you can now connect with the client uh, to the NetXMS server, or you can connect with the web UI interface. So let's test that. Alright, it's definitely running. Let's try to log in. And it's asking us to change the password which means it's already running. And that's it for installing NetXMS on Windows.